So ordinarily on any mass, I would like to get at least a one to two centimeter margin. But since this is so close to the eye, there's not going to be a way I can do that at this point. So what I'm going to do is just take it kind of at the base and send it off. And if it's something like a melanoma, then we can always go back and, and um, do take more skin if we need to. So this one's relatively uh, straightforward. Go ahead and, and take it to a plus 10. <laughs> These are nice because they cauterize. Uh, but I'm just gonna go in and clean up some edges here. But, um, but I really like these because you do, you have just such a, a pretty edge and you've got um, nice, nice coagulation, nice cautery. So it leaves a, an area that is not just bleeding. And on these, these cases where they have a lot of hemorrhage, this really helps. So today I'm going to be using the Elman. This tip is the A8. It's just a personal preference set, but this is a nice cutting edge. And the angle I'm going to be coming in is on this little outer fold to, to make an incision right there and then literally pull those out so that we open up the nares. So I'm just going to come in and make a little triangle. And the triangle depends on how much you want to open that up. Because you can see if I pull that over, that's kind of, kind of where we want to be. So, there's my first incision. The element is beautiful for this because it just cuts that so cleanly and beautifully. So I can get a nice wedge. I just look how bloodless that is. That is just gorgeous. Okay, and so you can see there's my wedge, and look how beautiful that is. There's no bleeding. It's just, it's so nice because the nose is such a vascular area that it's just nice not to have to deal with that. Now depending on how big the nose is, how much you have to take, you may have to put a couple of stitches in, but this one I think I'm just going to be able to get away with just one. Now we just do go to the other side, and the other side's not quite as bad. So on this, we're just going to do the same wedge. So there's my little wedge. Just very, very nice. So now we've got two nice openings and he's gonna be able to breathe when he wakes up. So in addition to the stenotic nary surgery on this guy, we're gonna go ahead and neuter him at the same time. Um, we're gonna use the Elman as well, because that's just gonna be a, a great way to control bleeding. I approach as a pre-scrotal, pushing the testicle forward, and I like to kind of pull it up a little bit so I know exactly what I'm cutting. See how beautiful that is? Now if you have, you can tear this, but if you have a particularly pesky little, little um, piece of ligament there, you can go ahead and isolate it from your spermatic cord. That's a beautiful thing to do because then you don't have excess bleeding. And you can see minimal bleeding. I can use the, the almond to cut. And that cauterizes. And um, you can even follow up with the round.
it just helps with that. And again, minimal bleeding. Looks good. Okay, so we'll just tuck that little guy back in there. So for the other side, we're going back to our little cutting tip. Again, kind of repeating the process. But as I cut, all these little vessels, where if you used a scalpel blade, those would just bleed. You're not gonna get that with the almond. See how beautiful that is. And as everyone knows who's done one of these, these little bleeders can be really kind of a mess. So to have them not bleeding is a wonderful thing. And again, that's where the, the almond comes in. Okay, now we just close. But that just, see how clean that is. Turn that up to um, 15 for me, please. But just see how pretty that just, just slices through and, and helps with the, with the bleeding. You know, I am so impressed. I've used uh, the almond now, and I've used um, the CO2 lasers, and I think that the almond does a beautiful job. We specifically have the almond now and love it. Um, I use it for 99% of my mass removals. It works really, really well.